Why not? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, this one is, uh, remember if it's, let me write down what resistance was. Let me write it here. How resistance is related to resistivity. It's rho times L del over the area, right? So, rho is the same for both of them because they're made of the same material. And then the length of the material and then the area. So if L is long, R would be large. And if A is large, R would be small. So let's see how we can do that. The way to do it is to write that explicitly. R2 would be rho. And then uh, what is length 2? What's the length of uh, this wire of R2? 2L. 2L. And then the area of this wire would be pi times what? R2 squared. R2 squared. And R2 is 2R, right? Or R2. R2 is 2R. How about this one? It's rho. The length is L. L. And then the area would be pi and the radius, is, uh, pi R squared, the radius is just pi. So the rho goes away. And uh, the pi goes away. So you would have this. You would have 2L. This one becomes 4R squared, 4R squared, times the reciprocal of this, right? I'm dividing by it, so it's reciprocal. So it becomes R squared divided by L. L crosses L, and R squared cancels L squared, and you get 0 0.5. So which one has the higher resistance? R1. R1. Yeah, R2 has half the resistance of R1. So, turns out that this one is larger. That, I mean, a smaller resistance has less resistance than this. Current would have easier time flowing through this than this. So if you make the wire thicker, it more than makes up for the length if you double it. Because the area grows as R squared, and the length grows linearly with length. Yeah. Yeah, one more question, then we'll jump to chapter 20. So, uh, for this question here, what resistor would have 15 amperes, uh, 15 milliamps? terminals of a 9 volt battery. So here you have, you have a resistor. Here it is. It has a certain length. And we have the potential difference, V. Voltage, let's say this is nine volts and this is zero, right? This is nine volts higher than this. Remember that the current is one of this. So there is a battery. It's, it's, there are wires here and it's connected to a battery, and the battery provides you with that potential difference. So, so that means uh, there is an electric field that way. So the question is, what what should the resistance be? What should R be? If uh, the current is uh, 15 milliamps and the voltage is 9 volts, what can I get? V equals IR? Yeah, yeah. Ohm's law. V equals IR. So, solution V equals IR. So, 
R is equal to V over I. The voltage is nine. The current is uh, 15. But it's 15 times 10 to the minus three. Three over five. Yeah, 600. It is, okay. Yeah, 600. Uh, what unit? Ohms. 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 Resistance is in ohms. Now, this, uh, this concludes chapter 27. And I'm going to start chapter 28. They're really intimately related. We're going to continue doing the same thing. What I would do is I would pause the recording so it starts a new video for chapter 28. So let's just...